Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today the nominations for Golden Globes were announced so that's what we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna tell you the nominations and then I'm gonna tell you who I think is gonna win and if you don't agree, comment. If you do agree, comment, okay? Let me know what you think, let me know who you think is gonna win or not win or who do you think should be nominated and is not, okay? Best performance by an actor in a television series drama. This is important, okay? Brian Cox, Succession, Lee Jung Jae, Squid Game, Ooh, Billy Porter, Pose, Jeremy Strong, Succession, Omar Sy, Lupin. For me, 100% uh, Lee Jung Jae, Squid Game. Like that dude, I mean, who, who doesn't agree that he was amazing, you know, crazy amazing. All the others were great as well, but I would go for him. Definitely. I don't think necess I don't think he's gonna win. I don't think Squid Game is gonna win like at all. It's the whole Hollywood and it's kind of like um I don't think they're gonna support something like Squid Game, even though it's absolute masterpiece. Um let me know what do you what do you think? Um let me know in the comments. Best performance by an actress, limited series, anthology series, blah 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 blah. Cynthia Erivo, Genius Aretha, Elizabeth Olsen. WandaVision, Margaret Qualley, Maid, and Kate Winslet, Mare of Easttone. Again, I think who's gonna win is Cynthia Erivo um, in Genius Aretha. But my personal favorite is Elizabeth Olsen. Um, so I'm very glad she received the nomination. But I think Cynthia Erivo is gonna win. I forgot one person. <laughs> uh, Jessica Chastain, Scenes from a Marriage. So, well, still Cynthia Erivo. Best Director, Motion Picture. Here we have a breakthrough. So we've got two female directors, which is like unheard of, um, but I don't think they're gonna win. Unfortunately, I wish they would win, but I don't think they're gonna win. And honestly, the person on that list is going to win um, is Kenneth Branagh. Steven Spielberg, I mean, it's Steven Spielberg, so he's not gonna win. Think about it, okay? Maggie Gyllenhaal, The Lost Daughter. Um, and Jane Campion, The Power of the Dog. So, I think it's gonna be between Jane Campion and Kenneth Branagh because, well, a decade, like one female director winning in a decade. Again, this is not about quotas, this is about best director. So, in all fairness, like if they are not good enough, they shouldn't win, okay? But I think there are a lot of great female directors and a female director like in 10 years one or actually in 93 years but let's not forget chinese born filmmaker chloe zhao okay that won but i'm still talking about like two best female directors in 93 years which is ridiculous okay and now when i think about it you know what i think it's time that woman is gonna win Best performance by an actress in a motion picture, musical or comedy. Marion Cotillard, Annette, Anna Haim, Lorenzo Zapisa, Jennifer Lawrence, Don't Look Up, Emma Stone, Cruella, Rachel Zegler, West Side Story. So, uh, this is a tough one. It's not gonna be Emma Stone. She was brilliant in Cruella, but it's not gonna be Emma Stone for this, no. Uh, it might be Jennifer Lawrence or Rachel Zegler, I think. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm very curious to read your comments and by the way, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Best performance by an actor in motion picture drama. Marshall Ali, Swan Song, Javier Bardem, Bing the Ricardos, Benedict Cumberbatch, The Power of the Dog, Will Smith, King Richard and Denzel Washington, The Tragedy of Macbeth. Well, this is really tough, honestly. Like, I don't think it's gonna be Will Smith and I don't think it's gonna be Denzel Washington. Even though I'm pretty sure they're both amazing. Um, but I think it's gonna be either Marshala Ali or Benedict Cumberbatch. Maybe I would go more towards Benedict. Best television series drama, uh, Loop in the Morning Show, Post, Squid Game, Succession. I think Squid Game doesn't have competition, honestly. Um, everybody watched it. But I don't think they're gonna be supported because of the controversial things happening in Squid Game, like, you know, murders. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, but I mean, they have to, they have to appreciate it. Like they have to 
accept the fact that this is it. It actually is best television series drama, no matter what they think, because it broke all the records and it's just a masterpiece, you know, psychological, amazing, beautiful characters, really layered. Um, and overall, like, the screenplay and everything. So look at Netflix. Netflix is rolling. Like, it's the best streaming platform, I have to say. Best performance by an actor, limited series, anthology series, or motion picture made for television. Paul Bettany, Oscar Isaac, Michael Keaton. Oh, love you. Ewan McGregor and Taha Rahim. I mean, Michael Keaton is dope. Is he dope sick? <laughs> It's not going to be Paul Bettany. It's going to be either Michael Keaton or even McGregor. And I think it's going to be Ewan McGregor. Best performance by an actor in motion picture, musical or comedy. This is tough. Leonardo DiCaprio, Don't Look Up, Peter Dinklage, Cyrano, Andrew Garfield, Tick Tick Boom, Cooper Hoffman, Little Literice Pizza, Anthony Ramos in the Heights. I think it's going to be Andrew Garfield. It's a stunning performance and everybody's talking about it. So I feel like, I think he's going to get it. I think he's going to get it this time. Best Supporting Actor Motion Picture. Ben Affleck, The Tender Bar, Jamie Dornan, Belfast, Siran Hintz, Belfast, Troy Kotzer, Coda, Koji Smith McPhee, The Power of the Dog. Not going to be Ben Affleck and not going to be J Jamie Dornan, even though I think he deserves it. But I think it's going to be Cody Smith Mc McPhee. Best limited series, anthology series, or motion picture made for television. Dope sick. Impeachment, American Crime Story, Made, Mayor of Easton, The Underground Railroad. I would say between Dope sick or Made. I think Netflix is gonna collect a lot of awards this year. Best picture, musical or comedy, Serrano, Don't Look Up, uh, Licorice, Pizza, Tic Tic Boom, West Side Story. Man. I would go for, it's usually like best directing and best picture, like it goes hand in hand, right? It doesn't make sense to have a different um, film and then director. I would go for Tick Tick Boom. But my personal favorite is Don't Look Up. Best screenplay motion picture. I mean, Aaron Sorkin is the, is the legend, but I would go for Kenneth Branagh. Best performance by an actress in motion picture, Jessica Chastain, Olivia Colman, Nicole Kidman, Lady Gaga, Kirsten Stewart. I mean, who's gonna win? Really? Either Olivia Colman. I wouldn't go with Kirsten Stewart, but it actually might be a surprise. Um, but I would go for Olivia Colman. I think she's gonna win. Even though everybody is like amazing. I mean, Jessica Chastain, I'm thinking, could be a surprise. Best motion picture. Jane Campion, The Power of the Dog. And the lost daughter Maggie Gyllenhaal, I said. So I really think who's gonna win Best Picture is gonna win Best Directing. Like in this case, it's gonna be The Power of the Dog, but I'm slightly afraid it's gonna be Belfast. Uh, best Original Song, Motion Picture, Be Alive, King Richard, Beyonce, Dixon, Dos Oruguitas, and uh, Lin Manuel Miranda. Down to Joy, Belfast, Van Morrison, Here I Am, Jamie Hartman, Jennifer Hudson, Carol King, No Time to Die, Billie Eilish, Finis O'Connell. Personally, I would go for Jennifer Hudson, Jamie Hartman, and Carol King. I think the only, <laughs> like the, the you know the award for No Time to Die, unfortunately, is gonna be like this one. So they just give it to them. I don't think that movie is, that film is what we kind of expected. So I don't want to say it's bad. Like it's an, every Bond film is amazing. I mean, but yeah, what do you think? Because I'm not, I wasn't, I don't want to put it down, you know, because it was like a lot of money, er energy, passion, talent going into creating this film. But I wasn't on the edge of my seat. I mean, if I compare it to Casino Royale or Skyfall or even Spectre or Quantum of Solace, I mean, it was just like they had this something. I really don't know how to say it. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
and the last one I haven't seen any of it so I don't know uh, but for me 100% something from Walt Disney Studios is gonna win 100% okay thank you for watching this video let me know in the comments what do you think and why and also what do you who do you think is, um, has been left out or who do you think is gonna win 100% and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching